Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims for 8 Emotional Sims. We're here with everyone at the park, and today we are continuing on with Lori. Um, and we're continuing on with her until, I think, 7 in the morning. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of time with her. Alright, um... As of right now, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't have a wish to get a job either. She wants to buy an instrument and level up in the gardening skill. Well, actually, you know, we're going to do that. We are going to get you leveled up in the gardening skill. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go around... Okay, <laughs> maybe we're not. Um, I was going to have her harvest the plants around, but they don't seem to be ready. Well, that's ridiculous. Um, if you guys hear some purring and stuff, it's my cat. He's sitting on my lap right now. Um, seriously, none of these are ready to be harvested. These guys make my life like a living nightmare. Alright, well I guess that's something we're not going to be able to do. Alright, so... She needs hygiene, fun, and energy. I was thinking of taking her to the gym, but she's not going to get any fun there. But she could get her shower taken care of. Let's just let her play with... Um, just play with Liberty since she's sitting right there. And then I'll get her to go ahead and nap when she's done. Look at all of these people are tired. Alright. They're just all around. Look at them. Here's Bruno. Here's Nicole. <laughs> what is she doing? What's Nicole doing? I honestly don't think she knows. All right, Roland has learned that the fo the following traits from Octavio, 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 evil. He's an evil child. Well, I think she's gonna sleep on one of these benches. Maybe not. I don't know. What's she gonna do? I'm kind of curious. Oh, I don't know. She's not doing anything now. These guys over here are talking with us. Okay. I don't know where you're off to. I have no idea where all these people are going. Oh, he's here. Let the kid. Where are the kids at? She's here. Look at him. <laughs> oh goodness, he's eating something. I don't know where he got it from, but he's eating it. All right, so they could actually come over here and grab some hot dogs. So why don't you come grab a serving? Does she have anything in her inventory? No. Oh, oh, Yataboo. Lombic. Right. With a charm. I do want to go in here really quickly, and I know this isn't part of, you know, normally what I do, but I want to just add a pool quickly. So I'm going to do it right over here. It's where I normally do it on this slot. Um, I just add it here because that way, you know, there always seems to be people here at the park. That way, those people will always be able to go in the pool. There we go. We'll just add a ladder. And I think that's pretty much all we're going to need. We're not going to really need anything more than that. So that's what I'm going to go with. That way they can come swim if they really want to. You know, anything like that. Alright, come on. You take way too long. Jalassa starts work in an hour. 
All right, Jalissa, how are you doing? You're eating, okay. So it's kind of nice if they come here and they'll just, you know, eat what they need. You know what I mean? Look at her, she's oh, like, don't sniff me, oh, lady. <laughs> so, so. Alright. He's getting some. I don't think that's our guy. I think that's somebody else. But he's ours. Oh, and a boy. Alright, Lori's still sleeping. Is this little girl over here who's ours? Oh, look, and sh that's she's ours too. So yeah, it looks like the whole family is pretty much eaten. Well, family. Sims, all the eight emotional Sims. Um. So that's fun. Alright. Um. We do have 151 simoleons. But I'm not sure what you can buy it for 150 simoleons, pretty much. Let's see if anyone's in the swimming pool yet. Oh yeah, there goes Malcolm. Malcolm's in the pool. Alright, so when she's done eating, I'm going to take them to the gym. I'm going to let her get a shower. I'm trying to watch him swim, but man, it keeps flipping me around. Alright, so he's getting out now. Alright, Lori is going to eat. Alright, not too bad. Her energy actually is pretty good. So that's good. Her hunger is good now. And Jaleesa is off to work. Okay. Let's go ahead and travel with... We're going to travel with Nicole and Stefan, Anastasia... Roland, Bruno, and Terrence, because Jaleesa is off at work. We're going to go to the gym and get a shower. I was hoping she was going to roll that she wanted to get a job, but I didn't see anything come up for that, so. And tomorrow's bills, which is not good. Um, yeah, let's just travel to the gym. We'll just take a quick shower and then head home. Oh, loading screens. Don't you just love them? Going on this day, going from playing The Sims 3 where it's an open world to playing The Sims 4 is a real eye opener. It really is. Because I just recorded um, Mini Mega and we were like going all over town and stuff. So, I don't know. It just opens my eyes that, you know, it's not open like it used to be. Alright, go ahead and use. Go ahead and take a shower. And then, you need fun. She could dance downstairs and that would give her some fun. So go ahead and dance. And that should be good. Everyone seems to be coming upstairs. So I'm going to speed up a little bit. Alright. Looks like Roland's got the comedy skill. Stefan has the cooking skill. Stefan, where are you at, buddy? He's so in I don't know. Oh, he's watching TV. Oh, yeah, that would give her fun, too. Let's come watch TV. Alright. Speeding up. She's actually in a pretty good mood. I know that she's, you know, tense because she needs amusement, but she'll get that from the TV in just a second. And then the only thing we're going to have to deal with is 
really her energy. It's just because it's dying so quickly. But at least she's getting some fun. Alright, and I'm going to leave here by like probably 11 o'clock. So let's get her off of here. I'm going to get her upstairs. She's going to take a nap. Let's come over here and take a nap. Alright, good. Now she get her energy up. Everyone seems to be getting showers and stuff, too, so, you know, they're getting all done. Well, the bathroom is right there. Go use it. Mm, whatever. It's her issue. All right. I'm going to let them go home when she's done. I thought 11 o'clock, but she's taking longer to nap than I thought. Oh, my goodness. They're all passing out. It's funny. All right. So let's take them all home. Well, let's wait till Roland's done in the shower. That's Roland, right? What's his name? Yeah, it's Roland. Ooh, look. Nice. Um, Jalessa has been promoted to nanny. She will now make an additional eight simoleons an hour for a grand total of 44 simoleons per hour. She also received the following bonus of 160 simoleons. Her next shift is Saturday at 6 p.m. And she works from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. All right, nice work, Jalessa. All right, let's go home. Once Roland is out of the shower. All right, he's out now. All right, let's go ahead and travel with... We're going to travel with everyone. I think Jalessa would be at home, but I don't really know. So let's do Nicole. We'll do Anastasia, Stefan, Roland's... Bruno. I'm going to try not bringing Jalessa and see if she's there. If she's not, then I'll just bring her there when we get there. So let's go ahead and go with just these people. And we're going to travel home. Okay. All right, let's go home. We live over here. We live right here. I may change their house. I don't know. We'll see. I may make it more like The Sims 3, um, Eight Little Sims, and see if that would be better. It's up to you guys. What do you guys want? Do you guys want the way we have it now, where we have, like, the split rooms, or do you guys want it where you ha they have, like, each their own home? Because they can't really lock doors, and that's kind of why I didn't do it that way. If they added lock doors, though, we could always switch it over. You know what I mean? Like, we would have that option. So, I don't really know. And it seems like Jalesse is here, but she's just over here sleeping. Yeah, she's right there. All right, today is going to be Monday, so we're going to be getting bills. Oh, my gosh. This is disgusting. What is going on? All right, well, this is really gross. We need to buy a sink. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh my god, this is really gross. Um, she's not hungry. She does need social and she needs a little bit of energy. But I was thinking of buying a sink. Then I thought, we have bills coming up. We have to wait for bills. Because we have to be able to pay our bills. So, where even is our mailbox? Oh, right here. Okay. So I don't really know. Let's see what everyone does. I think they're all going to go over here. She wants to learn gardening. Oh, you know what? We might be able to find some plants here um, that she could harvest. Yeah, let's go harvest this cherry tree. Ooh, I don't think I've gotten a cherry tree on this game yet, so that's exciting. Found a new plant. Oh, her and her walk. <laughs> yeah, about that. All right, so let's grab some cherries. All right, there we go. That should have given... Oh, she wants to hug someone. She wants to level up in the gardening now. Well, this is an onion plant. Let's harvest that. I think if we start a garden, it might help us as well. I think it cuts down on how much you have to pay for making a meal. 
you know so that might be a thing that we should work on and she wants to level up in the gardening skills so I might let her just try and work on the gardening a little bit while we're on her um okay so we can't go over there looking for other plants you know let's start collecting things too um, because if we get duplicates we can sell for a little bit of money so let's start getting her to go around and start just collecting things while she's got the energy and when we're done with the vegetables because each time they harvest they get 10 vegetables or fruits or whatever they're harvesting so every single time that she harvests something she gets 10 and we only need one so once we get one planted and it's like you know sprouted up then we can sell the other ones that we have um, and once we get a refrigerator we'll start storing some of the refrigerators so that we have them for you know when we're trying to cut down on the costs and stuff like that of cooking food um, because obviously we're going to go through a lot of food with having eight sims so we're going to need a pretty good plentiful of you know fruits and vegetables and things like that that we need to cook so we'll have to get that going all right so she got a striped dirt frog all right let's harvest that just gonna try and get to her to harvest as much as I can right now um, it'll really help I think look at this if you guys live in this area definitely come over here because it's bonds three little things right together I gotta sneeze <coughs> oh bless myself um all right let's go ahead and get you to dig these up there we go some of these collectibles can be really expensive too like they can give you a lot of money from selling them so that's good as well um okay I don't think we can go any farther that way but we can harvest this plant I know she's getting tired but we gotta do this that's just fishing there's this plant here she's uncomfortable oh yeah cause she's getting tired Okay, that scared me. Alright, um, let's go ahead and harvest this. We'll harvest that. We'll go ahead and we'll harvest that. Oh, look at this. There's another set of three over here. Alright, we'll go ahead and dig, 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 harvest. All right, so we need to speed her up. Speed up, lady. All right, here we go. Um, we'll harvest this one. Whoops. And we will harvest this. And this. And I've got about another hour. Oh, she got the mental skill. Nice. All right. Man, she is just taking forever doing this. All right, let's get her to harvest this. I'm going to sell all the flowers she gets. Um, harvest this. And that's it. That's where we started. So that'll be it. All right, let me go ahead and go through what she's got right now. Man, she's got a lot. She's got some blackberries. Oh, my goodness. That's different. I've never gotten those either. Let's go ahead and sell the tulips. Um, do I want to sell all 30, though? Let's see if it gives me... I don't want to sell all of them. I want to plant at least one of each. So let me tell her to plant these. Um, I'm going to plant them in our back garden, or our backyard, I mean. Um, Alright, so let's do this. Let's, let's pull them out so that we can just plant them. And it won't matter who plants them then. 
You know what I mean? Because they'll be out here. We can just plant them with whoever we've got. So we'll just pull one of each that she's got so far. Um, here's an onion. These will also help us, you know, get some, what you call it, um, more money in the long run. Like they'll keep growing more and more. So we'll be able to keep harvesting more and more, which will be great. All right. I do want her to extract these fossils and... I don't want you to do that. I don't. And then I'm going to get you to come home. Oops. I want you to go home. We should have lots to sell. The only thing is I'm not going to be able to sell it today because I need to be able to get her. Well, actually, as long as they're still on the ground over here at the house, we should be good to sell what's in her inventory for some money. So let's see. We've got the lemons. So we'll sell these ones for 57. We've got the blueberries or the blackberries. We'll sell these for 319 million. See, you can really go good with these. We'll sell the tulips for 116. We'll sell these onions for 87. And we'll sell these cherries for 117. We've got quite a bit of money now, so that is really great. I'm really excited about that. All right, once we pay bills today, I'll be able to buy some stuff for these guys, and that'll be really great. All right, on to Bruno. Mr. Bruno, what do you need, my friend? Stefan starts school in an hour, so is Anastasia and Terrence. Okay. He's really just tired. I mean, everything else is pretty good in him. So let's go ahead and just get him to come out here and plant these. Can you plant these? He can't plant these because he doesn't know gardening, right? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that is really annoying that I can't plant those. All right, you're going to have to repair the refrigerator. Repair it. All right, he's got the handiness skill. Okay. Oh, right in her face fell right into that puddle. That is horrible. All right. Where Nicole starts working an hour. Okay, so we do have a couple people working. She got the fossilized sea monster out of that fossil, so that's cool. Jules is off to school, so it's Terrence and Anastasia and Stefan. Okay, nice. So everyone seems to be doing what they need to do. And now Lori is talking to us. All right, can you mop up this? Oh, they're hugging. That's cute. All right, where is he going? He's like, I have no idea where I'm going. All right, I'm going to let him take a nap, I think, across over here. Let's go ahead and nap. What do you want to do? You want to do push-ups, you want to become friends with Dawn, and you want to become angry. I don't really know why you'd want to become angry, but okay. Was that from being hot-headed or something? From public enemy aspiration. So his aspiration, he needs to be disliked by three sims. And he's already disliked by one. Who is he disliked by? Jocelyn. Alright, so we need to get him disliked by a couple more people. Speed this up a little bit. It's just so slow. Lori did do us a heck of a job with the gardening and stuff. That was really good. I'm really proud that she did so well. Exhibit label. Cleaning the museum one night, Nicole notices an exhibit label may list the incorrect artist. Should she report it, proving her masterful grip of art history, or just use her time to finish mopping? Um, just go ahead and focus on finishing. 
Nicole forgets about the label and in record time finishes polishing every square inch of the museum floor into a blank canvas for tomorrow's feet. Alright, hey, nice. Alright. Vincent is not one of ours, right? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and yell at him. We gotta be disliked by him, so let's see if we can get we can yell at him. Wait, no, we sir. already are uh, disliked by him. He's sure. our enemy. Vincopa and Treeb. Uh, Give him a rude introduction. Trib's colophobi? Galoof! Varg Earthling. Yell at him. Where are you going, buddy? We're trying to talk to you. Yell at this guy. I wonder why it's showing that he's talking to Nicole, because he's not. She's I don't even think she's here. It's so weird. It's such a glitch. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this. We gotta become disliked by him. From being Um mock his outfit. Ina Tubarno. Is he like a mean uh, person, mean spirited huh? person? Boy, Yarba. Barbo. No, not <gasps> really. Um, claim to be a minimal oh, ma <laughs> criminal mastermind. Okay. We disliked like we're acquaintances. Walks, wind, kiss, Go ahead and annoying. insult Carson. him. Oh, time over. Fran, Are we disliked Garden. yet? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just leave it at that. He's evil anyways. What does he care? Alright, you want to become friends with Don. So we need to get you to chat with Don Lothario. This will help your mood. Alright, now we need to be disliked by one more person, and it looks like this lucky man is the one who's going to get disliked. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give him a rude introduction. Alright. So let's see. Go ahead and let's see. Yell at him. Go ahead and scare him. You can claim to be a master criminal mastermind. Um, insult him. Just do lots of stuff. Once you're disliked, that's all we need. And then you should be good to go. We're acquaintances. Okay, still acquaintances. Go ahead and throw a drink at him. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Go ahead and mock his outfit. And tell him that his mother is a llama. Oh, wait, we got it. Never mind. We can stop talking to him now. <laughs> Alright, so we need to be disliked by ten sims, insult ten sims, and de just be despised by two neighbors. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. Insult ten sims. Insult him. Does that count? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, you guys need to pee and stuff. So, there is just three of you. The kids will be home in about an hour, so I don't want to go too far. So let's go over here. Let's visit the Caliente household with Lori and Roland. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Stop talking to this guy. We don't care about him. They have to pee and stuff, and since he wants to become friends with Don, anyways, this is a way to do kind of two things at once, and, um, yeah, so that'll be good. Alright. Let's see how much time I have left. Only got about 15 more minutes left, guys, so. Hold on for your hats, because here we come. We're coming in for a landing. <laughs> Man, these screens. I dislike the loading screens a lot. A lot. Alright, let's go ahead and get you inside. You need to pee. Did they actually let you in yet? 
I don't really know. Go ahead and use. Use. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this. And you're hungry. Can you, like, oh, they got food here. Wait, don't even, don't even do it. Just grab a serving. Actually, why don't you call everyone to the meal? It's so rude just going to someone's house and just, you know, calling everyone to their meal. But we're starving, so we're going to go with it. All right, so let's go ahead and call everyone hey, to the meal. Oh no, she's got a D now. That's horrible. So does he. Ah, it's horrible. All right, so it looks like we're eating. Ooh, let's bring everyone over here. Uh, bring Jalessa here. Bring Stefan here. Bring Anastasia here. And go ahead and bring Terrence here. She's still at work, so I can't bring her here, but everyone else can come over here. They can use the potty and stuff if they need to. I think they get fed at school. I'm not really 100% sure, but I think they do. So that should be okay. All right. Did you finish eating? No, you're passing help. That's horrible. Finish eating your BLT sandwich. Everyone just keeps passing out. It's ridiculous. I think when we go back to the house, though, we'll be able to pay the bills. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for, so we can buy some stuff for everyone. We might even be able to buy a bed for everyone. You know how freaking cool that would be? I'd be really excited. Okay, let's... Oh, she made 168 simoleons today. Nice. All right, let's head back to the house now that, you know, everyone... Wait, is that one of ours? No, that's Nina. Okay, so Nina's eating still, but that's okay. We're going to head back home. So let's go home with everyone that's over here, except for... Who's the one that's not over here? She is, he is, she is, he is, she is, he is, and... I don't, I don't think the blue-haired girl is over here. I think she's at home. Yeah, I think she's at home. Okay. So let's get this done, and then I'm going to pay the bills, hopefully, and then be able to buy whatever we need. And that's probably where I'm going to end it for the day. Alright. I think it should be just about done loading. These loading screens can really get annoying. If you travel a lot, they can get really annoying. Yeah, our bills... Oh my goodness, our bills are 847 simile. I was thinking like 300, 400. Oh gosh, this is not good. Alright, well we don't have as much money as I thought we did then. Unfortunately, because that means not everyone is going to get a bed. So... Let's jump in here. We have about 550 simoleons to do what we need. Um, all right. I need to find the rooms that are going to be their bedrooms. I think they're upstairs, right? Yeah. Which means we need stairs to get all the way up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's seven and eight? It's got to be down here and I just can't tell. So let me see. Yeah, seven and eight. Who are these? Blue and something. I don't know, because these stupid lights aren't on. All right, I need to turn the lights on. Hold on. Whoops. I need to turn all these lights on. So set the color and intensity for all lights. And I want to set it like this. All right, it's blue and red. All right, we need to buy, first off, we need to buy a door to get in here. So let's get a door. I don't know who blue and red are, but we're just going to go with these guys because we can actually get them to them. You know what I mean? The only bad thing is I can't control who sleeps in the bed. 
and it's only allowed to be those colors so I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this but let's go get let's get a bed whoops obviously I'm not gonna buy them this cheaper bed it's just really rude so let's get them all right here's blue oh blues the only one that gets a red all right I know who blue is it's a girl but just, it's not what I was thinking when I put that down. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna buy a sink, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna keep everyone else out of there. That's the problem. Like, unless I tell her to sleep in it, that's the only way, you know, no one else is gonna sleep in it. But I think because they don't have a bed, they're gonna sleep in it anyways. I really don't know what to do about that. I don't. I don't know what to do. Um, alright, what else can we get them? They really need a toilet. I don't think we have enough now. I mean, you could live without a toilet, though. Can't afford a tub. We can't afford a shower. We can afford a sink. I'm thinking of getting them a sink so they can clean up this dirty mess, but what do I care? Like, honestly, what do I care about that? Maybe I should just get them, like, a couch? I don't really know. They can sleep on a couch if they want to, but we don't have enough. They can sleep in chairs, though, right? Guys, I think they can sleep in chairs, so... Maybe I should just buy them, like, a ton of these chairs. And then we can use them later outside. Just put them in the backyard. <laughs> Is that mean? To make them sleep in the backyard? Alright, we'll just get three chairs. Okay, so we have three places that I think everyone can sleep. I don't know. We, they may not be able to sleep in these. I have no idea. I tried my bestest. Alright, so I have to make sure that no one sleeps in this bed except for um, Nicole. She's the only one who's allowed to sleep in that bed. This is going to be really hard to keep them out of that. How are they even going to get out back to use those chairs? Okay, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <gasps> There's no way. <laughs> Alright. Let me move them. We're just going to put them over here. Why not? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is all of ours? I thought it was just this little spot. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Alright, well then we can move this gardening stuff. Why did I pick such a huge friggin' house? <laughs> we could have had more beds. Okay. <laughs> this will be considered the sleeping sleeping circle. <laughs> if you sleep in one of these chairs, then <laughs> you're lucky. Alright, go ahead and nap in this chair. I have to make sure no one else goes in that bed. I don't know how to do that without, like, controlling them. You know what I mean? I guess... It's nothing, there's nothing I can do. It's just, it's going to be the way it is. Until they all get their own bed. Because, see, like, look, they're going to do this. I really don't know what to do about it, like, because it's not their bed. They're not supposed to sleep in it. Um... I guess if I see people sleeping and I have to go wake them up, maybe? I don't really know. So, it'll be really mean to keep waking them up, but that's what's going to have to happen. So, we need to go wake him up. Like, they can sleep in the chairs. Go sleep in a chair. Don't sleep in somebody's bed. That's rude. <laughs> we'll get you all a bed, I promise. But it's just going to take a little bit of time. Alright, so wake him up. Yeah, get out of the bed. And can you sit on the bed? No, you can't get back in the bed, dorky face. Wake up. And then sit on the bed. So he can't, like, lay in it. There. Get out of here. Uh-oh, he passed out. Alright, well, at least I got him out of the bed. That's. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to keep telling them they have to get out of the bed. So they are sleeping in the chairs. <laughs> sleeping circle. 
The only girl who can sleep here is Nicole. So it's Nicole's bed, folks. Stay out of it. She'll beat you. <laughs> All right. I don't really know what to do. It's so sad. All right, Nicole, if you sleep in that bed, I'm okay with that. Can you clean these up, please? Thank you. <laughs> no, you can't? Okay. Well, that's fine. Go here. Go here so she can get in her bed. There we go. Good night, Nicole. Congratulations on being the first getting the bed. You're a lucky simmer. You're a lucky simmy. I'm so happy that at least one person's going to be happy in my life. It's so sad that I have to just like pretty much kill these other sims off because I don't have a bed for them. Alright, go take a nap. Go take a couple naps, actually. Because Nicole's going to be sleeping for a while. Because it's not a great bed, so she'll be sleeping for a while. And they'll just have to deal with that she's the only one allowed in it. The next person to get a bed will be Red. So the next person will be, um... Stefan will be the next person to get a, get a bed. So there we go. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to have to keep waking them up. And then when I wake them up, I have to have them sit on the bed so that they can't sleep in it again. But Nicole's Nicole's definitely going to be happy with this situation because she's going to be the only one that's going to be rested. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going to be hilarious. They're all going to be so angry with her. <laughs> She'll be, like, rested and, like, all energized. And they'll be like, I'm so tired. I can't stay awake. And we'll just keep kicking them out of her bed. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Well, it looks like everyone is finding a place to sleep, at least. Except for Roland. He's just like, I'm going to sleep in the middle of the circle. <laughs> All right. And we have Nicole tomorrow. Oh, looks like he peed himself. We do really need to get a bathroom going. I mean, we've got the fridge so they can eat. We need to get a toilet and a shower and beds. I just, I need to figure out what's most important for them. And I think energy is really important because they keep falling asleep. If they didn't keep falling asleep, they'd actually do their stuff. So, I kind of need to get them to uh, have beds. Alright, well, let's see. Let's maybe make up some salad. Um, I think we've got enough money to make up some salad. Let me move this stuff off the counter so that we can at least make some salad here. All right, let's throw it on the floor. This is so disgusting. I think it's the most disgusting house I've ever been in on The Sims. Could you imagine if you bought a house, you place it down, and it was like this? Like if I put this up on the gallery for you guys and it was just like this. That would be disgusting, don't you think? All right, let's make up some garden salad. We'll do a party size so everyone can get a plate. Because we're nice like that. We're nice we're nice folks. Alright, so make up this salad for everyone. Lady, don't eat. Don't do it, Anastasia. We're gonna um we're making salad. Don't do it! Don't do it <laughs> He doesn't listen. It's not gonna fill you, stupid juice. Who would choose juice over a salad? Not a sane person, let's just put that out there. No, Anastasia, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, get back in bed. Nicole, do it. Get back in your bed. Get back in your bed. Get back in your bed. <laughs> Everyone's going to migrate to her bed because she got out. This is horrible. All right, I think she might be a little bit more energized at least. She may pee herself though, so this is unfortunate. All right, let's call to the meal. Stop eating your garden salad and call everyone to the meal. Do it before this guy gets in bed. Get out. Get out of the bed. Don't do it, Stefan. Yep, see? It's time to eat. Don't eat another bowl. You're a hog. Eat your own bowl. You're a greedy Gus. Eat your own bowl. Get out of the way. Go here. Thank you. Why don't you sit here and eat this? Sit. <laughs> sit and eat your salad. There you go. I think it's a nice little chair. You can sit on the bed. You can't sleep in the bed. That's the analogy behind this. 
Right. We don't want this in here, though. Sit. Nope. Sit. Nope. Wake him up. Get him out of the bed. Wakey, wakey, boy. Eggs and bakey. Sit down. Alright. Well, this is where I'm going to end it. <laughs> it's been eventful. <laughs> Sleeping circle. Wait. Oh, I was like, you don't even live here, but it's Roland. I thought it was that girl with the black hair. I'll show you who I thought it was. Um... see if he even knows her. He may not know her. I don't think he knows her. But I've seen her a lot lately, so she's around. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. That is disgusting. Put this inside the house because I don't want a nasty orange juice outside. Anyways, um, in the next one, hopefully we can buy a couple more beds for some other simmies. We do have to get stairs to the upstairs. And that's what's going to be the big thing is... We've got to buy stairs for everyone who has a bedroom upstairs to be able to get up there to their bed. So, excuse me. Um, so, I don't really know. It's going to take a lot of money to make staircase, I can tell you that much. Um, but please uh, check down in the description below. There are three different links. One is a donation link. If you want to donate to help me get a better graphics card, that would be great. Um, the second one is to my Twitter where you can follow me and I talk about, you know, the videos that I'm recording for that day and, uh, my own personal games. And then the third link is to my Twitch channel where I do my live streams every Monday and, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, again, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.